Alright everybody, welcome back. My name is Shatso and I hope everyone is staying safe and doing well. Now, today you might notice, or rather in, the, in this video, and starting from this video, you might notice I'm going to switch up the music I use in the background. And that's mainly going to be because I've heard of companies going after content creators for using the music in their games. So, I don't want to risk that, um, even though I am a small channel, it, you know, better safe than sorry, and besides a little bit of change, um, every now and then is better than just playing the same Yu-Gi-Oh music over and over again, even if I do enjoy it thoroughly. So, yeah, I'm going to leave a link to um, the website I use to get these. Um, DMCA free uh, songs in case anyone is interested now onto the topic of um, what I'm going to talk about today so the cubic event in Duel Links just ended and what that means is that we have a new event in our hands um, and that's just new opportunities to new opportunities to farm our characters in a different event so what i would say is um personally i don't like the sort of events that you have to sort of manually go up each level um such as this one where it's sort of a, a dungeon crawler sort of a deal where you go from floor to floor until you get to the final boss. Now, they do something similar with um, tag team duels, and those are okay just because um, the NPCs are a little more um, interesting. They have some decent decks. And I will mention... Um, I did like the implementation of uh, Dark Blade, as well as Tour Guide of the Underworld, to introduce the event. Um, out of most of the normal monsters, I believe Dark Blade is one of my favorites. And... With that being said, um, I'm not sure if they're going to uncover more lore as to, you know, what Dark Blade has to contribute. Point being, we're getting new cards. Um, the lottery, we, we get the lottery thing where we get free. Um, SR and UR cards that might be um, important later on and at the end of the day free stuff is still free stuff and as a free to play player it's pretty important that we take what we can get and yeah so the event so far I've completed like um, the day I got the update which was I believe, either today, this morning, yesterday, doesn't matter. I completed it the same day. So I got up to the floor right before the final boss. And that's just because the final boss unlocks December 5th. And I'm recording this December 4th. So we don't really have more levels yet. But again, there is a way to use macros to sort of auto duel. And again, I do want to give props to Konami for granting us the ability to auto duel, just because having to do events manually, having to do the, having to do those um, those brain dead and mindless duels against weak NPCs, 
it's just uh, not fun not great it takes away from the game um what i'm doing at the moment in order to farm the event is i'm going to dual npcs um not so much on ranked i'm a, i'm still waiting ranked but dueling npcs to get some event keys event currency and it's pretty easy to rack up um event currency with these kinds of events so i'm gonna get quite a bit so that way i can set up a macro to just sort of auto duel over and over again without running out of keys um too quickly that way i don't have to manually click a bunch of okays and stuff after i win the duels and at the end of the day you do get rewards um rather even if you don't get rewards for um dueling against um the event monsters or whatever um you're still getting np you're still getting xp which uh, is pretty useful for leveling up um the characters instead of relying on gate keys or spawning npcs over and over again to um grind out the levels of your character and i am grateful for that just have been able to auto, auto duel is always something uh i'm gonna appreciate so another thing worth another thing worth mentioning is um the dual cyclist event ended the one with the the five times um points rose dragon and now we have sort of the duelist puzzle thing the the labyrinth i'm not sure what to call it and i will say i'm pretty sure you get like a playmat and some sleeves for completing the the event but i've i already have those from previous times they've done the event and as you go through the event you don't get too many rewards it's just sort of you get rewarded for um dueling npcs and dueling uh, just in general just for playing the game you get extra rewards which is always nice again as a free to play pl as a free to play player um you sort of have to be happy with what you get and with what konami provides you Now, last video, I believe I talked about building a U-Build deck. And something else we got was the Karibos. And the Karibos gave us the URSR tickets. And thankfully, it was the good UR ticket. The good SR ticket that gives you a little more options in terms of um, UR and SR cards. So I was able to get the middle of evolution for Ubel to complete my deck. And granted, it's still not 100%. I still have to mess with it a little bit. Um, but I am happy with the results. I am happy that I didn't have to grind out 100 duels in ranked to get the UR ticket to get Ubel. Um... And honestly, just thinking about having to unlock you, Bell. Most of the missions in GX are super difficult to carry out, to finish. Unlocking characters in GX is easily the most grinding, the most difficult. And it will definitely test you. Um, it will test your conviction to grind in the game. And if you really want to go through with unlocking um, some of the GX characters. Now, something I will say. Just um, building decks um, has slowed down for me a little bit. Just because most of my characters... Or at least the ones I unlocked. 
happen to be over 20 at this point over level 20 it's pretty easy to get to level 20 and with most characters getting to level 22 to get the extra 100 gems is enough motivation to get me to farm them to level 22 so most of them are your either level 22 level 20 level 24 etc point being i'm running out of characters running out of gems i'm slowing down so i really have to choose um how i spend my gems very wisely i've considered building a witchcrafter deck but at the same time because it is a newer deck and because it also made it to meta i don't want it to be another dark lords event where it's meta for so long and people invest so many gems into it then it gets it gets nerfed to the point where it's unusable and it all those gems suddenly mean nothing so you farm for for three uh what was this spell dark lord contact so you farm gems to get three dark lord contact from like the box that contains dark lords and suddenly having three copies having spent all those gems for three copies doesn't mean anything because they are limited to two or to one and i don't want that to be the case with witchcrafters so i'm actually gonna stick to older decks i might consider rebuilding crystrons or i'll just farm jesse to build the crystal beast deck and just make it as good as i can or maybe even cyber cyber dragons In one of my older accounts, I had started building Cyber Dragons, but it was just so difficult to get um, DSR tickets um, to build a proper Cyber Cyber Dark Cyber Dragon deck, Cyber Dragon deck, and you know it was very demotivating having to actually grind for a chance at one card at a time even with like a good farm deck for well i'm actually blanking on on his name i can't believe i forgot the name of the guy who uses cyber dragons it doesn't matter i guess point being um, at this point, I'm not looking to play meta decks. I just want to build decks that are fun and that'll give the meta a challenge. Speaking of meta, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. The newest um, structure deck for Noble Knights. At some point, I tried building Noble Knights. I didn't like the way they played. And now with Xyz, um, because it is just a big monster that destroys spell cards on the field, um, Madoshis actually get pretty close to being good against Noble Knights. So, I actually played against Noble Knights and they got their Xyz monster turn 2. Luckily, I got Princess and um, the spell that negates a monster effect. I got that turn 3, so I was able to slow him down. But then I forgot the Xyz monster could use it a second time and I didn't um I didn't play correctly. I I, I tried to go for like a one turn kill. But I couldn't clear the board because some of the um, the field spells can't be destroyed, or if they are destroyed, they just get re-equipped back into a monster. So they are kind of scary, but Madolches actually stand a pretty good chance against Noble Knights. Another thing worth mentioning is um, I'm pretty sure Yubel Fire King beats um, Noble Knights as well. 
just because if well mostly because it it's a deck that revolves around removing um spell cards on the field spell and trap cards and then finishing the game with big creatures so it's essentially a little bit of a more advanced beat stick deck so what that means is Madolche's you bell anything that prevents your opponent from attacking or if you can benefit from having big creatures on the board or getting rid of big creatures on the board um those decks get nullified by both Madolche's and by um you bell fire king now an important thing is Obviously, Cloudians won't work because Cloudians depend on Spirit Barrier to prevent damage. And essentially, it's very clear to it's clear to understand that the XTs monster could easily destroy the spells that prevent you from taking damage and just OTK you because they have big monsters and they can attack each of your monsters. Um, without them dying so Cloudians are definitely um, not even close to competing against Noble Knights so I'm not sure what to build at this point because Noble Knights will get nerfed or actually I'm not sure it's just a, a theory the same way um, Red Eyes hasn't been nerfed even after they got the structure deck same with blue eyes. I might actually consider building a blue eyes deck because as far as I know, some of the bigger cards. Well no, never mind. Um a lot of the meta cards for blue eyes are spread out across different boxes. And I really want to avoid um opening boxes randomly hoping for specific card so maybe not blue eyes but I'm not sure what to build build at this point so again at the moment I'm considering either crystal beasts or cyber end dragon I never really liked heroes so I'm not gonna even consider that um what else Ojama I've can you know again I've thought about it and I have tried Ojama but I don't know it's just um a very one track minded uh strategy and when it comes to oppressing your opponent I believe you build does a better job and it's a, it's a little more fun as well so I'm going to stick to uh you bell instead of Ojama at this point From the new XE stuff, there's Kagaga Magicians and stuff. There's Utopia, but obviously there's always better XE's monsters. So I'm going to just hold off and wait to see if they add a Madolce XE's. And I'm going to hold my breath on this one because they sort of have to at this point add XE's monsters from Madolce's. Um, it's just pretty necessary at this point. Another thing I'm hoping for is to get the 1500 gems from a new box. That way I can save up. Um, just because at this point I'm not going to build decks based off boxes or cards and mini boxes, etc. At this point, well, actually, I might finish opening Rampage of the Forest just because plant decks in general are actually pretty fun like if you're just playing a casual game with no competitive cards plant decks are are pretty fun so beyond rampage of the forest i won't be spending any more gems so it'll just be um getting character decks amazon is back in the meta which is unfortunate um and I just refuse to play against them just because they've always been a, a feel bad 
deck to play against. Even if you win, it just feels weird. It feels gross to have had to go through that. Blue eyes, you know, it's just get blue eyes on the board, use effects, etc. You're used to that. But with Amazonas, it's just so disgustingly oppressive. That it's just not a fun time. And, I mean, I have no more tangents at this point. So, I guess that's all I've got. You know, keep, there's a new event, just keep, keep grinding. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing, just um, auto-dueling over and over again. And then using the coins to, the coins from the duels to try and get all the SR cards, get extras, so I can, I can trade them for, trading extras for SR orbs is easily a great, an amazing resource, just because, um, there are some cards in the card trader that are worth getting, either for fun decks, competitive decks, meme decks, etc., this just the card trader has very good selection of cards you might need someday that you don't even know so i mean we've got nothing else um if you made it this far i want to thank you for i want to thank you for your time and yeah chateau signing off